Hours before the state leader emerged for his official duties, protesters were getting a head start. This pro-democracy group says the Chinese official in charge of Hong Kong's affairs is not welcome here, and they want the mainland to stop meddling in the future of Hong Kong. Uh, he is not welcome by Hong Kong. Yeah, we want democracy. We want the uh, true election uh, system. With just three protest sites set up within a secure zone in the central part of the city, fighting between the pro and anti-China groups wasn't a surprise. A quarter of the city's police force is on duty for this visit, with the entire area barricaded and well away from the Chinese state leader, there was little chance these protesters would be heard. Zhang says he was coming to listen and to see how Hong Kong was doing. But with barricades all over, wherever he goes, how could he see and hear our petitions? Instead, Zhang De Zhang's audience was a group of business leaders. Hong Kong is suffering its harshest economic conditions in two decades. The state leader says the city is a super connector between the mainland and the rest of the world, and China will support its role in a national approach. The Chinese central government attaches great importance to Hong Kong's prosperity and stability and its role in the national strategy. Officially, this visit is to inspect the city and discuss China's economic ties with Hong Kong. Unofficially, the state leader is here to gauge the political climate, with a growing anti-mainland sentiment and some political parties campaigning to break away from China. Deng Zhejiang says he's also here to listen. In a move that some see as a way of addressing polarisation of the people, the state leader will meet a group of pro-democracy politicians before an official banquet. Not everyone's convinced it's a genuine gesture of goodwill. Now the Chinese party or even the Hong Kong government are branding this as extending an olive branch to the op oppositions. But uh, I have to remind the world that this is a fake olive branch. With an election for the next leader of Hong Kong due early next year, the fight by some for greater democracy is not going away. And it looks like Hong Kong is on a collision course with its motherland.